Hi everyone, it's Simon from MotionVFX.com and today I will show you how to use our M pointer plugin in Final Cut Pro 10. After the installation you will find M pointers in Final Cut Pro 10's title and generator sidebar. There are a hundred diverse elements in six categories to choose from. Pick the pointer you like and drag it onto your project's timeline. Using screen controls to set the tracking point on the correct spot on the footage. Go to the inspector to modify other parameters like global scale or rotation. Each pointer has a caption element you can easily fill with your own text. Edit other typography settings and correct the position of the text with offset if necessary. In the inspector you can also change the colors of the components or add some glow. When you are satisfied with the look you can move on to tracking the pointer. Just click the track button and our mock apparat motion tracker will do the rest. To change the direction of tracking, select the reverse checkbox and click track again. Now your pointer will smoothly follow the movement on your footage. Use built-in and built-out checkboxes to turn the start and end animation of the pointer on or off. You can also add more elements to your scene. One of the six categories of end pointers is zoom. These files have a magnification layer that scales up a fragment of footage. To modify the scale or pan the magnified footage, use the proper sliders in the inspector. You can turn off the caption and edit some more details of that element as well. Click the track button again to make the zoom pointer follow your footage. That's it, your basic composition made in Final Cut Pro 10 is finished. Thank you for watching. For more awesome plugins, templates and composition elements, please visit motionvfx.com.